Okay, and we are here. We are back. Let's see here, folks. If you're just joining me, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully this is all working. It seems like it's all working. Look at this, folks. Look what I got here. This ain't my normal desktop PC. This is my first, this is my Asus ROG Ally. So I should put this down here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. I didn't even I didn't even think about doing this, but I can add this right now as we were talking. So first I'm gonna do this on the Asus ROG Ally. Play on Asus ROG Ally. There we go. Why not? Uh, dun, 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 dun. Get some of that. Then we do some background just a little bit. Now we can size her up. Give me a second, folks. Oh, shoot. I flipped her over. Doing this in real time because I, I totally forgot to add something like this on here. There we go. And then if I want her again, you know what the best part is? Copy and paste. Because <laughs> you can copy and paste in uh, in OBS. So that makes things uh, like taking this and putting it on the next screen easier for me. So, yes, I was going to start with PC first, but I think I'm going to finish off with the PC because I might continue to continue. Bleh. I might continue to play on PC uh a bit more after the stream of course and um yeah i wanted to test out the aces rug ally with the game and uh holy crap 
I can't believe I got this working too, because this is another thing that originally didn't work, and I know you can't see it because I don't have a camera on my Asus ROG Alley, which is right next to me. I got this pumping in, uh, the ROG Alley pumping in through uh, a special cable system going through my, uh, my main uh, HDMI connection, which I got an HDMI cord going from here, my office, through to my living room, which is next door to my office, which ain't too far away, going to where my Xbox Series X is, and usually that's connected into a special splitter port behind it. Well, it's in the cabinet next to it, so it's easy to get to. Uh, but it's usually connected in a splitter port so I can have one to the TV, one to the computer, you know, so I can capture one device, watch another device, you know, that kind of stuff. So I have that going on, and I unplugged that. I connected my Asus ROG Ally to it, and on top of it, I have this um, docking station, this uh, second-hand, uh, second-hand, second-market, oh, you know, cus you know, it's one of these other docking stations, not at the official, it's not an official Asus ROG Ally docking station. It's one of the third-party kind of things. And originally it never worked. It, it only charged the ROG Ally and charged other accessories and stuff. And, of course, stuff USB stuff would run off of it and stuff. But it would never capture from it. It would never work with the HDMI. Now, I don't know if this is with uh the updates that they have been doing aces has been doing in the background where they're supporting third-party docks more or whatnot but for some strange reason the dock is working a hundred percent it's fully charging like let's see here yep it's charging you can tell on the bottom here it is fully charging it's at 99 percent plugged in and it is actually, wow, it's actually capturing. Because originally I would use, I'd have to use another thing because the dock would not be recognized. The Asus ROG Ally would not easily be recognized by my Elgato game capture. But usually I would use, um, which of course this is behind it. It's not in front of it because I got a piece of paper here in front of it. But here shoved it to the back there so i have this little mini like capture device it's a hdmi usb usb c uh pass through capture charge device this is what i usually use the asus rug allied to capture and from and charge and all that stuff and plug in my gaming controller or mouse and keyboard set with but now that this dock works and I don't know if it's just because it works because it's going through another uh, splitter that's powered. Maybe it's because it's going through a powered splitter and then going to the Game Capture, Game Capture HD. I might have to do fur further testing on that. But if this thing works, that's amazing because that means I could do more Asus ROG Ally stuff, videos and stuff, if I could do that. So I'm going to test it through just the Game Capture HD you know, down the road, down in a later date. But that's pretty cool that I can capture this now going, <laughs> I got a setup. It, it is a unique setup. I know a lot of people have some really crazy unique setups, but I have a crazy unique setup when I do capturing of different devices. Either it be gaming consoles in the living room from my Series X and my Switch to my PC to other various things, and now the Asus ROG Ally, it, it is crazy on how I do video capturing from each device, and it's pretty cool. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun, and uh, I'm, even though this game is fun, it's just fun to know that this Asus ROG Ally has got the power to bring. Now, does it have the power to play Starfield? And how well does it compare and look to its counterparts of the pc which is the main pc which we will do second because i was originally going to do the pc first but i'm like eh, testing out the aces rug alley and getting it to work very good and correctly i'm like i'm going to just test that out first 
So I chose to test that out first because then when we switch to the PC, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. It should be a little bit easier than switching from PC to the ROG Ally. See, setting up the ROG Ally to connect it to the PC, capturing and stuff is a little bit more tricky-ish because I got to set the settings in the in the menu. That's why I got the second second mouse. I got two mice here. One for my one PC, one for the ROG Ally because <laughs> that's the only way I could get things uh, working and running. But, uh, yeah, I got this running on my ROG Ally right now and uh, got my main PC uh, mouse here for... Uh, everything else uh any of you guys still out there i know it's late it's midnight right now but if you're anybody's watching now ask me any questions about starfield uh playing on pc anything you uh, you might want me to check out or see we will still check out the bonus content i i promise that as well um earlier in the xbox first gameplay and we will check out some of that and what you get with the the regular bonus content, the thirty, I think it was the thirty dollar bonus content that I bought, twenty four, thirty, I don't know, uh, to get to play this early. And um, like I said, you're gonna see the comparison between this, the Rug Ally, compared to the PC, compared to what we've seen from the Series X. Now, it's a shame I couldn't do multiple captures at once and have the Rug Ally the PC, and the Xbox all together, but that takes a lot more computing power. I would need a secondary computer to do all that. I don't I don't have that budget. <laughs> no. Uh, but let's get ahead. Let's try this out. I don't think I can use my controller panel here, but I can use the mouse to load up Starfield. Excuse me. Been doing a little drinking. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Got the burpees. Um as you can tell, this is the w Windows 11 uh desktop here. Not my favorite, but it works well with games. You know, got my games up here, so we're gonna load into Starfield. Hopefully it all works fingers crossed well. And should be loading. Do I got to go through Xbox? Hold on. Let's go through Xbox. It is syncing. Syncing data. That means uh, game saves and all that. Let's go to the PC here. There we go. Whoa. What's going on here? Got some freaky deaky stuff going on here. What what happened here? What happened here? Uh, do I got to do a refresh? Hold up. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, there we go. The graphics drivers are out of date. What? Okay, it still works, folks. <laughs> well, I had some weird shit going on. You know, I hit PC by accident, which went to a different weird thing. It went to my PC, which went all woo. -hoo. And I, I should should have hit on uh, Xbox, so it was my bad. So what I gotta do here? I'm gonna turn this part off. Put this on here. I'm gonna minimize that. I don't want that too far in the head. There we go. And then we could go after that, I could just go boom, boom. So people know what I'm playing on. So that's pretty good. So we're playing on the Asus ROG Ally. As you can tell, looks, sounds good, right? Um, everything seems to be running good. Running off my controller, so we'll hit start. That works. Continue. It's all loaded up to like it should be. You know, everything is here. I could go to the load. Has my saves. These are my saves from the Xbox. 
So I could just go to continue. We're gonna load up this. Now, wait, If before I go to this though, let's see the settings. Okay, these are the settings for the Rog LA. Now note, the Rog LA is running on uh, 16, 16 uh, gigabytes of RAM. Uh, has a two terabyte uh, M.2 drive in it. It runs uh, Windows 11 and has that, uh, oh, what is it, the Ryzen Extreme? Z1 Extreme chip in there and stuff. So it, it's running some shit. Now this game, it seems like this game is running 16 by 9. Uh, dynamic resolutions on, rendering scale 50%. Everything is on low. Motion blur off, of course, I want that low. Crowd density, particle quality. It seems like everything's running on low. V-Sync is on. Upscaling is on, of course. Sharpening. Uh, various uh, refresh. Wait, enables various refresh rate shading during rendering. Film grain. I want it on zero. We can cancel off this film grain here. Uh, motion blur is off, of course. Depth of field on. Everything's on low. But remember. <laughs> That's not going to be a bad thing for the Rug Alley because the Rug Alley is a smaller device. So if this looks decent on the Rug Alley, you know, I know it's not going to look as good for you guys on there, but this is what the Rug Alley, what it can handle. And, uh, sure, I could up, I could upgrade stuff to medium or high and stuff like that. I don't think you could do ultra. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try uh, it's on low. Let's try just medium. I don't know if I have to reset the game every time we do it. But let's, let's check low first. Then we'll go. Then we'll go to. Uh, I think we could change the settings in here uh, later. We'll go to high and stuff. How about that? So let's continue. <laughs> see how far this how fast this loads and it crashed did it crash crash or is it loading oh it's loading something's going on It is amazing when the game works. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's lower this up. It says my graphics drivers are out of date. Let me get out of this for a sec then. Hold on. I'm doing the wrong thing here. Oh, it won't let me go to that. There we go. A little wonkiness here. Okay. Let's close out of this. Let's check my drivers. No. Sit. Say my drivers are out of date. So, first we'll go to Windows Update. I'll have to go to probably the ROG Ally stuff. So. Because I don't think I'm going to get any graphics drivers out of this. I'll probably have to do the Asus one. So, Mr. Asus. Because it's not going to be under Armor Core. Uh, oh, I have it set to 8 because you can't go any higher than that. It's got a reset. If you try to do it at variable or anything else, it's not going to work. Ah, see, uh, there's some stuff that needs to be um, updated. I did not know that stuff needed to be updated or else I would have updated it. That's my bad. Ah, so this will take a little while. 
Da, 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 da. Firmware. Oh boy. Firmware needs to be updated. Yeah. I, mm, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to the PC first then. Ah, we're going to switch to PC then, I guess. So uh, let's see here. Let's get out of this. Let's go back to the main. I'm going to take this off for a second. Let's see here. No, no, no. Woo, look at that. <laughs> yeah, because we're getting out of this. Um, because I'm not doing a capture all and plug this. Whoops. I didn't need to do that. There we go. Yeah. This should fix everything. Right? No? Oh, is it because I got... Ah, that's because I got this. Uh, let's close this. There we go. That fixed everything. I forgot I got my preview my thing on here. Uh, so we're going to go to the, my regular PC and play this game. I'll have to switch. I'll have to unplug my controller from the Rog Ally. Plug it into the PC, which... That's why you got multiple USB ports and plugs everywhere. One's connecting my PC, one's connecting my ROG Ally. There we go. Working on the PC, like, of course. Um, I still wish the ROG Ally had just, you know, 32 gigs of memory in it. I think that would definitely help it, especially with VRAM and stuff. Um, I'm hoping the next... Raw Galley, when Asus does come out with new generations of this uh, product, I really hope they do let you get a beefier ones because there's other people that are making the hardware right now and they're making them a little bit beefier. I would not mind spending more money on more RAM in it. You know, and let let us put in a longer stick of uh, M.2 memory because apparently they go up to four terabytes now and I'm crazy and I always love lots of memory in my my system. So we're going to try this now on the PC. So, uh, like I said, I am going to take this off. Uh, let me go back to the, what was it, the console I had it on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, studio, what was that? Uh, I wanted it on PC. That's what I wanted. Give me a second. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I just want to make it so when I post this video up online that it will... Oops. It'll be shown that it's going to be on that. The XG Mobile from Aragia and the XG Mobile comes with VRAM, luckily. I didn't hear about the XG Mobile. Is that that GPU? That a very expensive GPU? external one so when you're playing on a pc that seems like a good idea except uh if you want to just play it on the rug ally as a portable you can't really do that when you want to use the bigger gpu that's what i don't get about it. i get it if you want to turn it into a full-blown desktop gaming computer i understand that but for just using that um for handheld that's not going to help it much, I don't think. Not for me, anyways. Okay, I'm going to start up the PC version. Might as well. We'll let this rug alley update. It's going to take a little while. <laughs> I forgot to update it. Go figure. I needed an update. Okay, PC version now. Now it's going to sync. Yes, I know. I signed into a different area. Sorry. Even though it's all under my one account, Microsoft. It, sorry. Yeah, sync my data. 
Ah. Da, 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 da. Can't make things too easy now, can we? Maybe after I update the ROG Alley, maybe because it said it needed its drivers updated, maybe they'll fix it. I don't, I can understand that. Okay, we got this running here. Let's go to full blown PC. I gotta kick on the sound for you guys. Oh, where did my mouse go? Oh, it's because I'm in here. Okay, excuse me. Let's kick on the sound here. Let's kick this back a little bit. There you go. Now you can get the sound on that. That'd be horrible. Hold on. Sorry. Wanted to do something else on here. There we go. All right. Update. I just, you guys know who I am. Okay. Save is in there. All my saves are in there. Let's see what the graphics are on this. Oh, ultra, ultra high. Now on my PC, I'm running, um, oh, what is it? An AMD uh, Ryzen, I think it's a Ryzen 7 GPU. Uh, it goes up past 5 gigahertz, stuff like that. I forgot the exact thread. It's like 12 threads, or wait, 12... 12 by 32, I'm thinking, for the graphic or for the CPU. My graphics card is an Asus. Uh, what's the Asus card? What's it called? Oh man, my brain. I can't think because I got all the sound pumping into my ears. It's the Asus. Uh, oh boy, Mr. Mike. He's screwing up. My brain does not want to work. That's why I gotta look it up here. It's the 4070. It's the Asus, uh, what do they call this? The G-Force, it's not the G-Force, it's the um, Asus, um, oh, there's a special name they call it. But it's the T, it's the T, it's an RT, but it's an Asus card, it's an Asus 4070, it has uh, I think 12 gigs of RAM, 12, 16 gigs of RAM in there, plenty, plenty to play, and it is really good, it kicks a lot of ass in a lot of games. Uh, I have 32 gigs of super fast RAM in my computer as well. Okay, I guess my raw galley's update is complete. And it, it, it's got, you know, M.2 drives. It's got an SSD drive for my games. It has a lot of regular drives for... Um, all their media and stuff on my computer. It's a real beast, a custom-made computer, you know. And... Yeah, restart my ROG Alley. I'm doing two things, at 20 things at once here. So, yeah, everything's on Ultra, High, 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 Ultra, High, 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 V-Sync, FSR2 on. Motion blur? I don't want motion blur on. You can get rid of that bullshit. I, where's my film grain? Let's get rid of the film grain. I don't like film grain. I don't like motion blur. That's just my preference. I know a lot of people else want it, but it, everything's on ultra and high. Everything's all the way up. I'm surprised uh, they don't have like the whole thing and tells you all the specs of your computer here. Cause that'd be really nice. Maybe I'll, show it off later on specs i know i did videos on it but um well let's go to the gameplay why is it on normal it's like all the settings changed on this good thing i looked at it 
Continue. Yes, let's go back to this. What? The save relies on content that is no longer present. Some objects may no longer be available. Continue loading. What does that mean? This save relies on content that's no longer available? Or no longer present? What, what, what are they talking about? What? Really? Huh. Huh. That doesn't make any sense to me. That makes none whatsoever. Uh, here, I'm going to do some more checking and updates while I'm doing this. Hold on. Sorry, folks. What a first gameplay. I just want to get this rug ally set up so... When it comes down to it, we can get that all working here. Well, I guess we'll see what we see. It's not like I'm that far into it. We'll see what I got, what I don't got, what happened, what doesn't happen. As long as the game continues, like I said, I didn't do much. I'm still at the same spot. So, I'm still in the same spot. Let me turn down my audio for myself here. I got the game too loud. There we go. So, it looks beautiful on my PC. Look at this. Compared to the Xbox, this seems a lot brighter. A lot, uh, everything seems to be moving quite well on this. I, I like it. I like the look of it. So, I'm supposed to talk to this guy, right? And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Okay. Oh, I can get repairs on my ship? I like to view and modify my ships. Let me see what ships you have for sale. Yeah, what do you... I'm sure you can find something you like. What do you got? He's got seven ships. Ooh, look at that one. Hey, isn't that that one ship that, uh... There's these video people that were looking at it and it was all black and it looked like that. That's pretty cool. They want a lot of money for it. A lot of money. That's one more like mine. Oh, there's a cool one. That's got a lot of thrusters to it. That looks like a nice, beefy, blow you away kind of a ship. It's either going to be. I would either want that kind of a ship. Where is it? I would either want number seven in all black, if I can get it on black or whatever. It says it's only 4,611 credits. Why is that? Is it just fire rate 3, haul damage 8? Is it just because it's not that powerful? Then you got something like this. Everything... Two eight eight. Four 
fire rate 3, hull damage 2, shield damage 25. Hmm. Mass 9. Mass 1. See, I, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too knowledgeable on these, but it seems like, uh... Okay, no problem. Here's my ship. Value 7,375, mass 359, because I got stuff on it. Um... I can upgrade. There's a lot of stuff here I just don't know about yet. Uh, shields. You can upgrade your shields. Regenerate. So if I wanted a better shield, this is this will upgrade the shield. Okay, I guess I upgraded the shield on this thing. Okay, cancel modification. I don't know. I don't got not enough money, dude. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Whatever, dude. I, I don't have no money, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Come on, robot. Let's go. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on the United Colonies Research Facility will not go So I'm supposed to follow all the way to here? Okay. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Of course I got no bounty. Yet. I bet if I had a bounty, I bet you it'd be a different story. Because if you got one of those perks and you got the bounty, you know, that'd be the problem. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transport. Uh, throughout the city, we can take it directly to the Mast District. The Mast District? Well, it's pretty quick, too, on my, uh, count, on my, uh, PC here. Loads pretty quick, and like I said, everything's to the max here. Everything. I'm so Except for film grain and uh, the motion blur. <laughs> Those are off, so. But otherwise, everything is to max. So. Wants me to go that way. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Uh, Sergeant Yubi is looking for a reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Looks like a lot of these people are just all... Their eyes. They look like... Symphoids. Sim sim look like robotic people. No, no, no one looks real. This planet don't look real. <laughs> look at the foliage. It looks all plasticky. Look at it. Look at how static that looks. That's a Bethesda game for you folks. It's, uh, that's, that's definitely a Bethesda game. Look how staticky everything looks. And like I said, this is all on high res. We may be in a United Colonies city. But Constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. Uh-huh. It won't be neutral for long when I get done with it. <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, something else. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock. You will not be able to walk at full speed with your pack that full. 
Okay, you said that 10 million times before. Mr. Robot. I understand that. I'm still able to walk Captain, faster than I think. Captain, everyone will be in the library. Just inside. If Derek were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something. We appear to have a visitor. Oh, hello, lady. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? There were some audiovisual uh, sync issues, if you saw at the beginning of when she was talking. She was talking and then she was like... And then she, it seemed like she got back to sync again. Hmm. Now, I didn't talk to too many people, but... And... Hmm. Did, was it like that in the council part? Huh. I see. Bosco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Now it seems like she's uh, factual. able to talk and... Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. Wow. But that didn't happen. She's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Yeah. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Yeah, I did. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Damn. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Godfrey, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel. I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table. There you go, I just drop it. it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. It's gonna turn into Halo. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material. Turn in the into Halo, where's the Covenant? None of them. This proves that... That's what it looks like. Girl. Like they're doing the Halo thing. You'll have a heart attack. Or something from uh, Assassin's Creed. She's not the only one. One of those two coming franchises. Together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. And the pride trend is Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do I'm about not, our new well, friend? I know I'm encumbered, but I'm going fast. <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Mm. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. Okay, I babe. think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field capability. anyway. Just mind your head. Hey, and I got a chance. I'm 
much, uh, how much monies do I got now? Let's see here. I surveyed 33% of that already. Got 11,611. Neat. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. Why is your that lover? was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. Must be his I guess lover. a lot overwhelming, now that I think about He's it. He's back in my colony, I'm Noelle. lady. Don't worry. It's really nice to meet you. Noelle. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. If you need a moment of there. quiet She just says there. Emphasis on you the know, quiet part. There. At least usually. Let's head upstairs. Okay, Sebastian man. Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. What are you gonna do, lady? You're just gonna stand there and watch that thing do its weird thing? Can I take anything? <laughs> I'm all about money. Where do I trade, lady? Where can I sell things and make money? I'm here to make money. I gotta, I gotta build myself some spaceships. I gotta pay for my super, super expensive house. Or I could just kill everybody at the bank. And maybe then I don't have to pay, but I don't know. That might make me an outlaw. Oh, excuse me. So this late. is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Self-serve bar? Now, let's see about that room. Shit, yeah. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Of course, there's always one room. Couldn't be another room. No, nope. there's just one. Man, luckily I'm the person that gets it. And of course this room's gonna be far away. It's not gonna be right here. It can't be just right here. I can open this up. Oh, that's not a room at all. That's just a closet. That's an office. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy. All right, that's somebody else's room. So this is my room. Da, 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 da. It's got books. Moby Dick. I got some Moby Dicks. Ooh, fancy ice bucket. That is a fancy ice bucket. Seal cocktail mixer, so I can make some cocktails. My little wet bar here. Got a safe. I can put storage. So I don't even need a, a place. Because I could just stuff stuff in the inventory thing here. Alright. Let's see here. Throw out four. One of that. Where are my six of those? Five of those, because we've got one. Um. Yeah, I 
got rid of some of that weight. Only got one helmet. Can get rid of that. I got thermals. There's my ammo. I got plenty of that. 7.77 millimeter. Got some good aid here. Notes, resources. I'll just store all the resources in the safe. Why not? storage oh, I screwed up <laughs> ah, that's confusing I heard that this was gonna be a little confusing I'm just looking to see in the stats here. all taking up valuable space in my backpack. There we go. If I don't do anything stupid, it gets me, uh, I would sleep. Well, refreshed, eh? Nice. I needed a nap. Oh, I'm stuck behind the door. Hopefully I remember how to get back here later. But it looks pretty good. Captain. Hey, robot. I'm just looking around. Looks quite pretty in here. We've always considered ourselves experienced. This really is uncharted territory. Hey, it's somebody sandwich. Nobody wants that, right? Heh. <laughs> okay. Everything looks quite lovely. I keep getting stuck behind doors. Hey. Age for horses. Oh, skill bonus. Okay, so magazines give me skill bonuses. Got it. 
Well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. Stolen any sacred relics recently? You really aren't gonna let it go, are you? Okay, what I'm gonna do... We're gonna save, so I gotta go into this. We'll keep that. We'll just add that. Alright. Alright. Now, we're gonna quit. We're gonna quit the desktop. I'm gonna quickly show some of the bonus stuff before we go try to Aces Rogue Ally again. Okay, so. Let this see, let this see, let this see. I think I gotta go into Xbox first. My Xbox thing. And then we'll get going to the bonus stuff. So, with uh, all this extra money that I paid for gets you, it gets you this digital art book and original soundtrack, which the original soundtrack you can download to your to your PC's hard drive, hard drive, not just in the Xbox app. It actually can go into it, so you could put on your MP3 player or whatnot and listen to it anyhow. But it's also in this, like, app itself, which is pretty interesting. I find it pretty, pretty interesting. But it doesn't have the Magic Dragons <laughs> music to it. But it's a pretty cool little add on if you are the kind of person that wants to play this on, uh, use it on PC and stuff. I think they might, you might be able to do this on the Xbox, but I, I'm not sure. Like I said, I got it for the, the PC. So we got Ford here. Let's start our field with something entirely new, not just the world, but thousands. We are starting from scratch. A genre has so many. Da, 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 da. We did the very first concept images in 2013, and they still hold up today. Images that filled us with the desire to explore and learn more. This concept art represents the work of a dozen artists that took the development team of several hundred passionate producers, artists, designers, and programs to bring it to life on screen. Were you truly transported to another reality? The art team was led by the legendary List von Pelly, um, who I've had the privilege of working with. For over 20 years, his unique vision and attention to detail is unparalleled. We hope the game and the artwork represented here fill you with the same dreams and wonder and exploration we have. Okay. And you can actually switch the music while you're doing this. So they got a slideshow. Creatures, images, 3D models, take uh, comic books and stuff. So this is showing off all the concept art. Oh, there's Jim working out. That's a cool bench. Uh, a video tour. Okay. I wonder what the video tour is. Is it just 
That's weird. It looks like something you'd see probably from the trailers. Video tour, worlds, characters, creatures. Some of the creatures you're going to get to see. Look like dinosaurs, like dinosaur creatures. That's some unique creatures there. Uh huh. They all look pretty badass, too. Uh, spaceships. Weapons. Modeled in 3D, hand drawn. That's pretty cool. Set dressings. All the machines and mechanical things. That's pretty cool. Illustrations. So this is all the books and stuff that you'd probably be able to get in the Starfield. Add it to your uh, thing, maybe? I don't know. I know I got one in those magazines. And like I said, you can see all this stuff, watch it, play it. Then you can go and you can play all the music that it has in it, of course. And then, like I said, I was able to download all that music and download all that music and uh, use it for my mp3s and stuff so like I said that is Starfield for the PC um, for on playing on the PC and uh, oh where was it where was it I can go to Steam but I think I gotta log in and watch it's gonna be like you gotta log in to Steam because you haven't been there for so and so such days because you know they're super security focused but if it lets me log in there we go beautiful I want to go to my information uh, na, 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 na. so I have a Ryzen 9 sorry I don't have a Ryzen 7 I have a Ryzen 9 in this computer I forgot 12 core CPU that's why it goes over 5 gigahertz um, it says it's a 3.6, but technically I've been seeing like 5 gigahertz out of this thing. Uh, 12 physical processors, 24. Mm -hmm. Everything's supported, mostly. Then there's a lot of unsupported. <laughs> Running Windows 10 on here, if you're wondering. Ah, it's a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. That's what it is. So, But it's an Asus card. It's by it's a card it's a graphics card made by Asus, but it runs an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti, and I tell you this card does phenomenal work with games. I've been powering a lot of games with it. Um, it's got it can go really impressive with resolution. It has 12,281 megabytes of VRAM. So, you know, over 12 gigs of VRAM, or 12 gigabytes of VRAM. I have, I'm running 32 uh, gigs of memory in my system. I don't have VR. Uh, of course, I got, you know, all my drives and stuff, which it doesn't show anything on that. But not bad. It's a pretty beefy system, so I forgot I upgraded. I used to use, like, a Ryzen five or seven or something like that before and then i bumped it up to a ryzen 9 because they had the ryzen 9s on sale on amazon so of course i upgraded it why i upgraded my gpu and the 
because I was running a lower end graphics card in this thing and I bumped it up to, you know, the 4070 Ti. I said, man, why as well, well upgrade the CPU as well? So that's why it runs so well in my system. <laughs> no, I don't want to take your darn survey. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, or I'll try to do now, after I shut down Steam and stuff, and now I'm going to try to switch back over to the Asus ROG Ally here, and hopefully we don't have too many problems. So give me a second with this again, and let's hope that this, uh, let's hope that this works this time. Maybe, you know, like I said, it won't crash because I updated stuff. I forgot to update the drivers. You always should update your drivers before playing new games because, hey, if you don't, then you get shit like this happening. So that's what I'm going to do now. Plug this bad boy in. Uh, I'm going to plug back in my capture card, which or my uh, graphics card here. Or my capture card, yes. I said that right for the first time. Ah, I'm getting caught. Okay, so... It should be on, there we go, on the display. And I should be able to mirror this. There we go, mirroring it. Um, I could turn off the desktop audio, I don't need that. I can up this, that's good. Turn off desktop audio. Woo! Can't go to studio, because then that's what that happens. Sorry about that. Okay. So let's see. Let's try this sucker again here. We got both the Xbox and uh, and Armory Crate working. Everything seems like it's all loaded up and ready. Starfield don't look like it's uploaded and ready. Uh... Let's see here. Let's go back into them. Let's see here. Manage. Create a desktop shortcut. There we go. There's Starfield again. And let's try loading this up again, shall we? And let's hope it says the drivers are all working. Because they should be. Syncing. Syncing data. And we'll pop this to council. I already did the council, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I'll let it sync its data. Let's hope that the, the saves go quickly on both. And let's hope this don't crash. It's still saying your graphics drivers are out of date. Warning, graphics drivers are out of date. So how do I update the graphics drivers on my Asus ROG Ally? Is that what's causing a crash? Well, we'll see. Because it seems like the game is starting up and it is running.
So. <clears throat> If you must know, Whoa, that is some slow moving. Oh boy. That is some That is some slow moving. Is that because the settings are all on there? Okay, this is all run on low. Uh Wow, that is, uh... I am at your service, Captain. Okay, it's running a little bit better now. Maybe I had to catch up. But that is, uh... Woo! Now, no, I am running this from the Raw Galley to a, a computer monitor. Yes, yes, I think it's talking about the MD drivers being outdated. Yes, uh... I'll have to check that because you'd think it would automatically check. It's supposed to check in um, in the Asus, my Asus app, I think. I don't know. I'd have to double check that because it's not like, you know, when the Windows didn't detect anything in the updates. But it is, it's running it now. Yeah. But, I hope you are satisfied whew. with the quality Look at that. Available. It, now, no, this is playing off a of rug alley on a big screen, and it's trying to play this, so it's not going to look as good as it does on a little screen like that. And this is all, all running on low. Now, if I tried running this on a higher setting, which this is probably going to kill the game, but we will try just for fun, funsies here. Uh... Let's see here. Let's run this on this. And I bet it'll crash, but why is motion blur on? I don't want motion blur on. We can turn that off because that causes problems. And film grain should be zero. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, let's try this. And it crashes. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing the raw galley can't handle um, that stuff. And I'll check again, but I don't think I can update. Yeah, it's not showing anything else. And uh, like I said, uh, the Aces app would usually update those drivers. My Asus. Because I don't think AMD, unless if I go into AMD software, check this out. Maybe it does have an update. Yakuza 0, performance, drivers, and software. No, 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 no. Graphics. Where's the thing if I just want to update it? Release 614, 2023. Da, 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 da. See, this is the problem with... Uh, AMD stuff. Perform reset. Resets all. 
Restores all settings. Cause I'm I used to be used to this, but AMD doesn't have a thing like, oh, check if all your drivers are up to date. You would think they would, but I'm not seeing anything here. No, because I don't want to screw up anything that I worked hard to get. Uh, adjust game graphics. Yes, Yakuza 0 runs amazingly well on this. How come this doesn't show up Starfield? It says this is the current version. Yep, maybe that's the reason, but still, why would it, why have this if you got to go through everything through Asus, you know what I mean? I know it's a custom thing, but it's still a PC's a PC. Let me check Asus again. <laughs> I do not like Windows 11. It's it's so uh, compared to 10. It says it's up to date. BIOS AMD graphics driver. That's the one I was looking at. 6.24.2023. Says it's all up to date. So if that says it's up to date for both graphics drivers you guys there's nothing I can do about it I guess I'm run, running all on slow uh, and slow slow and low and uh, we'll just have to suck it up and see how well uh, the game plays on that yes I know don't worry it's not out of date because it's <laughs> it says it's not out of date so don't tell me it's out of date because you're not out of date because Nothing's showing up in both software. Uh. Like I said, if I just unplugged everything, I just ran this from the at Rog Alley, I bet it would run just decent. But I know because I'm running this on a giant monitor here, it's a different story. What happened? Different story when it's on a big screen compared to a little screen. It's trying to push. If you must know, and like you were saying, if I, like you're gonna, I think you were gonna get that external GPU. I bet you this would run perfectly fine. So it's loading now, because that's what it's doing. Because this will speed up. Or crash. <laughs> no, it's not already running. What are you talking about? That's why I just don't like AMD's uh, drivers for... S graphics cards that's why i went from amd graphics to nvidia graphics because they do a way better job even though they are uh, they have their own problems they do a better yeah it's graphics cards yes i agree they do a better job amd is not so good with their graphics stuff i had a lot of radeon stuff because before they were always saying, oh, pair your Radeon cards with your uh, CPUs to get better performance out of your stuff. And that was not true. That was definitely not true. I built other computers with both RAM, 
AMD, AMD cards and CPUs and I didn't see any better difference. And then when I started going back to Nvidia for graphics drivers and graphics cards, I seen a big difference. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go to low, low and slow. Let's turn off the blur. Let's turn off the grain. Uh, grain's good. It's gr grain stays off. Um, that seems to fix. That seems to make things work. Hopefully. But uh, yeah. Like I said, Asus. Uh, I love my Asus Raw Gal. It plays a lot of games pretty good on it, but a little bit more power, a little bit more power it needs, just a little bit more in the graphics part portion of it, a little bit more RAM, it'd be perfect, okay, I'm gonna let it load a little bit, I am at your service, Captain. okay, now it's working, now it's a run, let's see if uh, this stays like this or it's gonna what crash, what can I help you with? It's not like I'm gonna be playing Starfield on the Rug Ally too much. So, maybe are you when ready I'm to get to work? Just outside, or, was there or if else? I'm watching a movie on this big screen or something on my TV, then sure I'll play it. But mostly I'll probably play this on my PC and maybe Xbox. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once we, they're out of the Can we just block. shoot some people so I can that see how that looks? That means people can pass them around not even knowing what oh, they are. Oh, look at all the clipping and shadowy effects on her. Strange Ugh. metal objects. It's so bad. a lot of noise, but, usually. Yeah. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. It's playable. Mm. It's playable. That's all we can expect. Uh, da, da, da. Leg work never pays off. You quit. Yeah. Up. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. Yeah, many games. We watch before. each other's backs. We'll be fine. I'm surprised on how well this that. works up on I this. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself. Because I got a 32-inch widescreen gigabyte. And for you to learn more about us. Two, what is it? Two I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together like, until we either find an like artifact a three or this lead runs dry. Monitor here, and it goes up to. 2000 something by something something I don't know but it, it I'm surprised it runs and looks as good as it does on my monitor as well you know even all the graphics are clearly looking like a PS2 kind of thing going on here it's still not bad I don't know how it looks via the stream because I'm looking through the little monitor here because I got it playing on two monitors I got it on, off the OBS I got it on my main monitor here it doesn't look too bad and it seems to run okay um, let's see here. Let's go. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting well, office where my contact too, works. Too bad. I'm not too and picky listen. on stuff like that. As long as the games are playable and they don't stutter, there, I don't care. crashed 20 so million times over, I'm happy. UC security to our doorstep. I'm happy. Every member of Constellation is their gamer. own I, conscience. I don't need, Understood. even though I got a banging, you know, computer with a graphics card and stuff and I got a Series X, I don't... I don't care about, you know, oh, it's got to be all 4K HD everything, and but st still, you know, it's just as long as it runs good. Let's see. Understood. Sounds reckless. Should have rules. What do you mean you don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught? <laughs> I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Ah, understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Twenties and thirties. I should check that. I hope you're still glad you joined. I can do that after we do a little bit of playing on this. Absolutely, Sarah. See if it holds I up or if it crashes during a mission or something. I'm glad to hear it. You could have done just about anything, 
So, it's important to me that you feel valued here. Okay, maybe not every single day is a dream come true. But the work we're involved in, the discoveries we're making... Oh, do I gotta leave? Important. I gotta walk out. Come on, robot, let's go. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, robot. And it crashed. Hey. <laughs> well, we figured we I figured that would happen while it was loading. So probably and like I said, haven't uh Yeah, probably got to wait for some driver updates for this uh raw galley or maybe it'll be different when I play it on the device itself and you know, fix some things here. Because people have been playing it on here. It's just... <sighs> Let's see here. Game visual. I don't think that's... The... Yeah, because it's the big screen here. I understand. I understand. Let's try this one more time. Da, 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 da. This time, oh, plus this is off. Let's put that on. Let's put this on 720p. Maybe that'll fix things a little bit. And let's put on, oops. Gonna have some problems here. Sometimes that works too, because I had this on 1080p and everything if else. You must know, there's rumors of an 18th century English translator. Let's see if the settings went back to low. Yep. It's all on low. down to 60 hertz oh what did it do was it gonna look oh there we go maybe that will fix some stuff not guaranteeing anything but sometimes that stuff helps oh I don't have my uh, testing mode on A lot of people don't like this stuff, but I like it. Okay, we can get out of this. And let's turn that on too. 
so we can see what's going on here because why not oh the gpu is maxing out or almost so Whoa. are you ready to get to work or was there something else oh that just went <laughs> Oh uh, boy. Oh, I even pushed it over here. It's like, screw that. Oh, not doing 25 watts. I could try that. Let's see. I'm surprised it just didn't automatically go to that. Good thing you noticed that. It's... Maybe it'll boost something. But I think it's the GPU. I don't think it's the CPU doing it. I think it's just the the VRAM and the GPU that's crashing it. See, because you can see it's really going up high with just the graphics. If you must know, there's rumors of an 18th century English translation uh, see, it's... of the See, it's really bouncing up on the yes. GPU a little bit. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something? Yep, let's go. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. That means people... Yep, yep. I've been I talked to you call. before. Felt the same way when yep. I... But it's not just... Yep. I'm going to be... St yep. We'll need to head to Mast. And listen, okay. every member of... Understood. Good. Here, I'll just save this. Because <laughs> I already talked to her. <laughs> Don't need to talk to her. Okay, it's going up. Graphics going up. Up. And then as I walk out this door, this is when it crashes. So let's see. 70. 98 for CPU. Okay, here we go. CPU. 82. It's like bouncing back and forth like ping pong. And it crashes. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Not gonna, not gonna work. So there you have it. Does not work currently on uh, Raw Gala, at least uh, up to a point. Um, so let me get out of this desktop mode here for Raw Gala. So let me go on to... Yeah, it's a bummer for now, but what do you expect? Like I said, it's a, it's a lower, you know, graphics. Like I said, if it had more memory in there, a little bit more graphics power in the device, you know, they're all like that. They're all going to need to be, like you said, drivers updated eventually. Everything tweaks out. Then it all, then it all gets better. It's just, you know, you got to wait and, you know. What I'm going to do here, because I'm still in this, can I go to studio? No, I got to, okay, I'm going to turn this off before I go to studio. So I'm actually, I'm plugging everything off my ROG ally here. So everything's unplugged. Turning everything off of my ROG ally here. And let's see here. Go back to studio. Whoa, studio. Okay, I could close this. But I'm going to try off camera. I'm going to try playing this game. And seeing if I get better results just playing in handheld. Yes, I know the graphics driver is still not good. You don't have to keep on constantly telling me. I'll turn off the frame limiter. Everything's back on. 
seems to load better on here. It seems it looks better. I know you can't really tell, but it does look better on the mini screen. Let's just see if this uh, runs. Still a little janky. I'm going to try to go out the door now. I'm letting it load in a little bit here. Let it load in a little bit. See, this is the big test. If I can't go out the door and it doesn't load into the world and it crashes, then we know it's not going to work on here. It's doing that ping pong effect again, so I'm guessing it's going to crash. Oh, no. It went into the open world. Holy crap. It went into the open world, so it does pass the test. It's still ro running on low. Oh, nope. Now I crashed. <laughs> Sorry. It did crash right after, so... Yeah, this game, even on all low settings, uh, not going to work on the raw galley, I guess. Eh, at least not for now. That's sad. But, eh. It makes me wonder about all the upcoming titles that are going to be coming out for the raw galley. How they're going to work. But, you know, if we're going to be playing... I don't know. I'm trying to think what other big games would come out that you probably would want to play on the Rogue Ally. Like Grand Theft Auto? The next Grand Theft Auto, is that going to run on the Rogue Ally or something like that if we wanted to play it on PC? It, it gets you wondering. Well, oh, it's not even letting me go into that mode. Let's see here. Uh, just turning everything off that was on before. Try this one more time. <sighs> yep, I know. Graphics drivers are out of date. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. Try one more time and then I th then I think I'm gonna call it a day. Call it a night. Hmm. Possibly. But this is supposed to be a full-blown computer in your hand, so it should eventually run it. Maybe like you like you're said originally, it just needs some driver support. And when that comes in, because, you know, I run other intense games on this, and they seem to run fine. Like the Yakuza games, they run just fine on here. Um, what else was I running on here? Gears Tactics was running great, and that's a that 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 game gets really intense, and that was running perfectly. And even Teardown was running great on the Raw Galley, and that's that's GPU intensive, very intensive. If you ever play Teardown, yep, this just crashed again. If you ever play Teardown on your on a computer or something. And I know they're bringing it to PC or game consoles. Holy shit. That thing will crush your computer like nothing. And it's played Spider-Man and Cyberpunk perfectly fine on this too. So I'm thinking we just need to wait for some driver support. Because as of right now, that's a no-no. Whoops. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it just keeps crashing. Oh, well. Like I said, not not the end of the world. A little disappointing for the Rug Alley right now. Uh, I don't know if, like you said, there's other devices out there that are capable of playing this. I don't know how those will be doing with this. Most people are going to be playing on a console or your desktop PC anyways. Yeah, like I, like it said, because if it's saying the drivers are out of date and it's not letting me update the drivers, you know, 
I'll always come, I'll come back to it. When I get new drivers for this thing and I come back to it and it runs well, well, no, you know, because I would, I, I don't understand why I wouldn't run this game. If it's running Spider-Man, Miles Morales perfectly on it, Cyberpunk 2077, Gears Tactics, Teardown. Like I said, if it can run those games, it should be able to run this eventually. So, um, so we're going to end this. So it plays on PC quite damn well, and this not so well. And I'm going to get ready to go to bed because I am tired. I've been setting up, playing this stuff. I'll probably just play a ton tomorrow. Sir, thank you for being online and watching me. And to everybody else that watches after this, I will be back on Friday, which is today's Friday, but later on Friday <laughs> when I wake up, I'll be playing uh, Starfield and I will be streaming it again. Good night to you too, sir. Have a great day. Um, I will be definitely, definitely, definitely playing this all day Friday, Saturday. Stuff like that. So, everybody, I'm Mr. Mike. This has been my little stream. My little first gameplay of Starfield on the PC and sadly on the Raw, Asus Raw Galley, which failed. Works great on the Xbox Series X, of course. And I heard that Series S works just fine as well as I watched other people's streams with that Series S. And uh, everybody, game on, game hard, World Conquest. I'm pushing this game button. And the show is now game over if I don't do anything weird here. So everybody, peace and good night.